Hi and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the very end of the season. We have two matches planned for this episode. The final match of the um, Van Rama National League, which will confirm whether or not we become champions. And also we are going to play the FA Trophy final. There's a month in between, so I'm just going to cut uh, between the final match of the season and the FA Trophy final. There aren't many changes between the last um, episode and this one. We only played a, a you know a, a sort of not not a handful of games, a bit more than that. But uh, yeah, so we kind of came around here. Uh, Bromley, I think uh, Bromley and Wigan were the two matches that we did in the last episode. So we played a few matches. The only change that I did to the squad was that I kind of reverted a change that I had made uh, earlier. I brought Adam Beamish back up to the first squad and the guy that I bought for his uh, position previously, Jack Nolan, I, I literally have no idea what to do with him. He is good, so I might reuse him next season, but at the moment I don't really... He doesn't really fit in our plans at the moment, so we're just going to let him sit there for a minute um, mentoring our under-23s while we finish the season. In the meantime, our under-18s have become champions for the third time in a row, um, so everything's going well. Hopefully, we will get some improvement to the youth level sometime soon. That would be ideal, really. This is the squad I'm going to play for the match against Port Vale. Uh, our usual team, well, actually there are a few changes, so uh, we have uh, the backup, one of the backup centre backs playing. Uh, we have actually a youth left defender playing, uh, because, you know, uh, Liva needs rest, Matthew uh, is injured. I have our backup centre midfielder. This guy ne needs a rest, but I'm going to play him anyway. We have our backup uh, left back, uh, sorry, left winger as well, and our backup striker. So quite a few backup players currently on the pitch. So we'll see. We're playing against Port Vale. Port Vale, I think, are now 18th. Uh, they've lost two matches in the previous round of five. We are playing away from home in Port Vale's stadium. And they are 18th. Yeah, that's right. We are about to confirm our championship if we either... I think a draw is enough as well. I'm not actually sure. I didn't do the goal math. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll find out, I suppose. So yeah, potentially two bits of silverware to grab in this episode. And then we'll have a look at the end of season review as well. Because we've had such a full on end of season calendar, that's why we have so many injured players and tired players. Because we've had sometimes weeks with essentially three matches like Saturday to Saturday. Um, so it's not been ideal really in terms of calendar for us just because we've been playing the F FA Trophy um, uh, rounds and the, f the semi-final is played in two legs so that took up a, a, you know, a big chunk of our calendar and we were already two matches behind compared to everyone else in the, champ in the championship um, which meant we had to catch up as well Okay, we have a few highlights, but nothing has happened yet. A jo um, Hosey, or Ozier, or however you call him, his first name is Josh. Um, he's picked up an injur injury here. Actually, let's have a look at him right now. Hampered by injury. I mean, you could put Zordania in. Oh, it's a penalty. Okay, so we are conceding by one with a penalty. A 
don't know what that will do to our position in the table. So far, we are still ahead. I suppose Bromley lost their final match. I don't know. Or they are losing, or maybe they just drew. I, uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but... I think that might mean that they are drawing at the, at the moment. Right. Let's make some changes. We're going to get Beamish back in. And excuse me as my alarm goes off. And we are going to put Sulemana, our captain, on the pitch. And I'm going to try at least a draw. Let's see if we can score a goal here. Oh, making me nervous, this highlight. Come on. Ah, it is a goal for them. Okay, so 2 0 down. It's going to be hard to come back from that. We need to keep an eye on what's going on with Bromley. Let's see what it says now. It's still saying we're ahead. So we might be okay. <clears throat> Despite losing, it's a bit sad if we lose our last game. Uh, but if we get the if we get the title, then it's all worth it. Despite the loss, of course, all of our players are going to have one month rest between now and the FA Trophy final. So all of those rest issues and injuries should hopefully go away. So we'll be able to play a full strength squad for the final. Henderson has got a chance here, and he completely blew it against the post there. Zordani is going to try and pick up the game. All the way back to the keeper. Okay, staying patient here. We still have essentially half an hour to go. So stuff could still change. Henderson from far hits the post. Or the top bar, I couldn't really see that. All right, half an hour still to go, so things could still change. Hopefully in our favor and not against us, but they have a highlight here and it's against the post. Cleared by Harding. All right, 20 minutes to go, roughly. 10 and 5. Let's see how much extra time we'll get here. There's no way we can come back from that with the amount of time we have left. Oh no, they went ahead and scored a third. Oh no. Hopefully, I mean, Bromley's still losing, I think, so goal difference that doesn't really matter. hope Port Vale are happy with their performance. They should be. They really should. You know, having to play with all these that many backup players, it, it, it was never going to be easy. Fourth goal. Oh no, they missed. Good. Good stuff. They could still score a fourth here. That would be embarrassing. Antonias is basically disarmed. Overall, is going to get a red card. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, is it warning? I gotta get final highlight. Oh, of course, the other thing that also happened is that the youth intake came in. So before I skip to the FA Trophy final, let's have a quick look at that. Let's just wait for the this match to round up. 
uh, yes, we had our youth intake, and it's, it's still like a strong intake. There we go, we are champions. Let's take a few screenshots of that. I'm gonna wait for the confetti to come up. For the Patreon, of course. Right, let's see if I can time the screenshot here. I suppose I could get a grab from the OBS recording, but much better if it's a screenshot. There we go, got the screenshot in. Big celebration, champions. Yeah, so we'll take a look at the youth intake just briefly, and uh, and then we'll cut to the FA Trophy final. So if I continue here, they obviously completely trashed the dressing room, <clears throat> but we still won. We still won the champions. We're still champions. Look at that! All of these things. This guy's injured. I've got a new contract. I always ask for just a little bit more uh, money. Not too much more, but yeah, just a little bit more. Oh, come on, guys. You can pay me more. Come on. Okay. They accepted it. Oh, we instantly got turned into a professional team. We now have... This is very exciting. I've been waiting for this for years now. Uh, we now have full training. We've got our budget in. That's quite a decent budget compared to previous, but still not great, considering that we've been... All the clubs above us are gonna have massive budgets compared to us. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, good. Let's have a quick, quick look at our intake. So, according by potential and ability, we have... Um, yeah, quite a good one. This guy, I'm, I'm tempted to bring this guy up to the main squad. Either as a central attacking midfielder. He'd be very good at that if only he can get his off the ball uh, improved a little bit. Uh, or it's maybe as an engash, but I th I'm more tempted to bring him on as a s attacking central mil midfielder. Hopefully he'll be able to improve that a little bit and then we can get him on. He's only 16 as well. So he's going to be one of those players that we, if we sell him, we're probably going to get a decent profit for him. Um, yeah, so very good. We are champions, as I mentioned before. And developing, the developing center reckons we've got strong squads for both. Okay, so I'm going to put a cut in here and I'll come back in a month when we are going to play the FI Trophy final. See you in a bit. All right, and we're back for the final. Uh, a whole month has gone past and a few things have happened, but I'll tell you about them as the game goes on. In the meantime, when I was selecting the squad, um, you know, we've, I've had to make some changes to the usual 11, just because we have so many players unavailable. We have four uh, starting 11 players unavailable, um, which meant we I even had to put a youth player on the bench just to catch all of those defensive positions for us in case we need them. So we're going to go ahead and play the final against Solihull Moors. See if we can grab again for the second time the FA Trophy. So as I mentioned, a whole month has gone past since the last game of the uh, league and this game. In the meantime, the board has made some upgrades as well. We are now professional, which m means that I I'm now able to do a lot more with training. I'm focusing on crossing, goalkeeping, uh, agility, and uh, just a kind of community and team cohesion aspect as well. So that's great. I'm um, one of those managers that likes to max out the training, giving rests maybe once a week or so, um, but not a, lo a whole lot of rests. Other changes as well include an increased scouting range. We're now, um, well, we moved up from, I think, national to regional, which means that we can now scout, sc scout all of the UK and Ireland. Previously, we could only scout England. And we've also improved our youth recruitment. Previously, we were a limited uh, recruitment club, and now we have a basic recruitment network which is great especially because we're always trying to make the most out of our youth 
In the meantime, we've also been granted a few new staff positions. We have one new coach for the senior team. I've gone for a mentality coach, a mental a training coach. Oh no, we've just conceded a goal. We might not win this one. And we've also been um, allowed to recruit two sports scientists. Um, also two under 18s coaches and uh, some sports scientists as well for the and um, for the youth um, squads both the under teens and the under 23s i'm not sure if that's the best option let's see hmm, yeah hunt bowman bowman is retiring actually so yeah so i've gone away and recruited that staff i've also done a little bit of an audit of the current squad and there's a few players obviously that we're going to have to invest next season but immediately we have already um, lost our backup striker his loan ended and therefore we only have the Sapo song um, might have to do this um, yeah so we are only playing with one striker available uh, but there are a few other players that can cover that position just not as their main position we've been able to come back level through hunt so hopefully we can still have a chance of winning this one let's go uh, yes yeah, so we're gonna have to invest in brand new left uh, wide target man uh, new striker new central midfielder actually brown is 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 as loan as ending he's been with us on loan for three se seasons now so there's a good chance we can still get him next season or maybe even um offer him a permanent transfer who knows or we'll just browse around to see if there's any anyone better but yeah we have that option uh and also new center backs as well we have a 300k transfer budget we probably won't max it out i'll try not to max it out we haven't yet at, at any season uh, so far so that should be okay um yeah let's see right we have one more one more sub available to us and Hmm. We only have defensive players available now. So I'm gonna go for min turn. And I'm gonna. Oh gosh, decisions. Um, I'm gonna go for Ashton. And bring Hosey in. Although he's hesitant, but he's also nervous. So, oops, hand over. Um, yeah, we are gonna have to invest a little bit in our squad, especially because, um, you know, new league. Uh, hopefully, better players will want to come for us. Also, better staff. Usually in July, I do a full audit of the staff, just because contracts. Um, and so I have the option to either renew or get new stuff. So I usually do all of that in July. And judging by the staff that I was able to hire now, um, they were a lot better than the staff that we usually have avail available to us. So I'm, ho I'm hoping that we ha we get we get we're, we're going to have a much better um, backroom staff. So quite exciting, professional, new backroom staff, better scouting, all of the things we are going to be able to do next season. Quite exciting. Whether or not we'll be able to stay up is yes, a different matter altogether. But hopefully we will. Now, Harding. Uh, I like to max out the list just because 
in case the I've had before where the penalty just went on and on. I think I, I think I had a thirteen penalty shootout before, so we just went on and on and on. Um, so I max it out. Hands on hips. Um, Stay calm and back yourselves. We'll be fine. Ooh, I don't know. I don't have the... <laughs> I usually have just like a relax, pick your spot and stick with it type thing, but we don't have that. Whoops. I demotivated him. Hopefully he's not gonna go first. Um, yeah, so, oh, good stuff. We are promoted. Bromley didn't get promoted in the end. Third place, Yeovil won the playoff final. So they are going to be promoted with us. This also means that as soon as we get promoted, our link to Forest Green is going to expire because Forest Green are currently kind of like a mid-table um team in uh, Skybet League 2. Can we nearly defended that previous penalty just right there? Um, yeah, so our link with our senior affiliate is going to be broken, which means we might be able to get a better senior affiliate. Maybe like a Premier League team, that would be nice. There we go, Kami actually defended it this time. Ugh. Oh. Uh, I've been given a new contract as well, so that's another thing. I'm not sure if I showed that in the previous half. I'm not sure like where the where the edit point. I can't remember where the edit point was a a anymore. But yeah, so I've got a new contract as well. Um, we're going to be spending uh, way more money as well, so that's another thing. So, like, now that we are professional. A lot of things are going to cost more. Contracts are going to cost more. Um, well, yeah, lots of things are going to cost more now we are a full-time professional team. Um, so yeah, I need to keep a close eye on finances. I'll still try and invest in the youth. Hopefully other things will get upgraded as we go on as well. Right, here we go. And we are FA Trophy winners again. All right, second screenshot for the Patreon. Let's see if I can time it right. With the confetti. Look at that. Beautiful stuff at Wembley. It's just a shame that the our fans aren't behind us there because we had a full There we go. Confetti for the patron. Uh, yeah, we had a full stand completely jam-packed with our um, with our fans, but they are on the opposite. There we go. You can just about see it on the opposite side of the pitch there. Full white t-shirts. There they are. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the end of season review. I won the uh, manager of the season already. Uh, none of my players won um, the player of the season. We do the double. We get 60k. Two ice in a row. The board is happy. Uh, payout has been paid out. We are also the overachievers. I don't know why, because we won it last season. So surely they should know that we could win it. Anyway. Um, I think our players will all be on holiday now, so I'm not sure why we have this. Um, okay, now, new arrivals. Summary of new arrivals. Yeah, I sort of agree with that. The board is delighted 
with us. Uh, finance wise, we did. Uh, this is pretty much the same competition prize. This is a bit lower. Everything else is just a little bit. Yeah, not much difference. Sapa Usong, our main striker, Esqueth, our attacking midfielder. Hunt was the backup of Esqueth, actually, so I'm not sure where they have the same. Anyway, Dolan and Pilling. They are brand new players. Pilling only, actually only played once for us, so I'm not sure why the shirt sales were so good for, for him, but. Anyway. Our main 11, I pretty much agree with that, except for Harding. But everything else, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, player, so manager of the month for November, manager of the league. We don't do, we don't have any competition awards, but we have a uh, fun player of the season, the goalkeeper, Kami Binney. Young player of the season, the Sapo Song, our main striker. Signing of the season, Horn, our left fullback. Goal of the season, Sapo Song, top goal scorer with 22 goals, also for Sapo Song. Most assists, Esqueth, 10 assists. Sapo Song again with the most player of the match. Highest average rating for our goalkeeper and most completed passes for our defensive midfielder. That's quite a usual trend. Camu with the most clean sheets record. Worst discipline record, eight yellow cards and three red cards for Beamish. That's, <laughs> that's unbelievable. And we played our biggest ever transfer fee for Adam O'Reilly. We didn't even play him all that much because Brown was a lot better. See if there's anything else interesting here that we can have a look at. Probably uh, quite a few. Okay, let's have a look at the vision. Um, um, I always try to remove as much as I can. So we're gonna fight bravely against relegation. There we go. That's it. I'm gonna try and remove that one as well. Okay, I'm just gonna have to confirm that. So we're going to have to play solid defense, possessive football, and high tempo. Uh, not much, nothing really hugely different there. Uh, anything else? Kiss and break, la la la. Oh, improvements. Okay, let's... I guess we'll finish with this one. Oh, here we go. We would like to gauge your opinion on whether the club should strive to achieve a higher grade for the academy setup. I love the idea. Nice one. Brilliant. We'll get on with that. Hmm. We believe it's important to stay on good terms with you. <laughs> so hopefully we'll continue to work together to build a future. A positive future for the club. Haha. -ha. They want to please me. I see. Youth level increased, finally. I'm pleased to confirm, uh, blah, blah, blah. We are aiming to make the necessary upgrades to apply for our youth academy to be classified as level three setup. This should be approved by the end of the season. Wonderful. Okay, I'll leave it there in a cliffhanger. Let's see what happens. I think we're going to be promoted to the next league up. I think that's usual. usually what happens at this stage uh, when the category gets updated. And that's deserved by our youth team because they have been champions now for three seasons in a row. So I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching until the end. We now have two new trophies to add to our cabinet. And we'll start in the Skybet League 2 in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.